Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to replace the feed roller on the extractor mat washer and dryer. Uh, just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here. Um, this is the feed roller. Comes all the way along down here to the other side. Um, this is the roller that we're going to go ahead and replace today. Uh, what we're going to have to replace uh, to get into this is we're going to have to take off that bearing right there back in behind the uh, the big pulley here that connects to the main drive and on this side even more fun we get to take this sprocket off actually we get to take this chain off and take the sprocket off then we can get to the pulley okay so this is a little bit of a complicated it shouldn't take you too awfully long um, I'm going to continue talking as I'm going through here to show you guys what's going on. Alright, step number one is we got to take the belt off, then we got to take the pulley off uh, before we can actually take the nuts off of uh, the Alright, to take the belt off, put a long thing in here, screwdriver, whatever, just pop it, the belt comes straight off. You need to loosen the uh, set screws actually on the pulley here. Uh, just for your information, this is an eight millimeter wrench. And it should come off with a little motivation. Make sure you got those set screws out far enough. off here with a little motivation I mean she gets stuck on here pretty good because this is the uh, the main power the first pulley after the motor that uh, all the machine mechanisms actually run through so it gets on here pretty good which is a good thing uh, if I had a uh, a pulley puller right this particular way life would look much easier I wouldn't look like such a fool. I'm grabbing a hold of the uh, the brush roller to keep it from turning, and I just worked the the pulley off. So we'll save this. We're going to need it later. So now we've got the pulley off, and you can see the uh, the bearing that we have to uh, take off here. Uh, this is the bearing that supports the feed roller that we showed to you before. Um, this is a 13 millimeter uh, nut right here, and a 13 millimeter bolt on the back. So grab yourself a combination of A 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket just to make things go a little bit quicker for you. Go 
removing both the nut and the washer on both sides. I would personally suggest that you try to leave the bolt actually in place. Um, not that you have to, but it makes things a whole lot simpler of putting the bearing back together again or back on the machine or your new bearing or the new roller uh, if you don't actually take those out. Because if you take them out and you drop them inside the machine, please have yourself a magnet just to uh, make it work for you, right? Okay, I got both nuts and washers off and the bearing just comes right straight off. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off there right now because we need to have it off in order to take uh, the roller out. I am, however, gonna leave the bolts actually in here um, just for ease of putting it all back together again. So now, we're gonna get a look at the other side of the machine. And it is the other side. So what we're going to need to do here is we need to take this chain off and then we need to take the sprocket off and then we take those uh, nuts again off of that bearing and uh, take the bearing off and then the whole shaft will just slide this direction lift up and pull right out uh, really easy then so uh, first thing we need to do is take off the chain so if you guys are familiar with bicycle chains or whatnot uh, it's the same thing it's got a lock key on here you just need to uh, shove it off a little bit and it comes right off Trying not to block your view too much here. This is uh, the key that locks the, the key uh, link. So once you got that off, you just take off the, the next piece here. Put it aside. Don't lose it. You're going to want it back. And then the whole link will actually just slide right out the back. Okay? Now, chain is broken, so we can just take the chain right off that sprocket. Um, next piece is actually going to be to take the sprocket itself off. And it's a metric size, but it's also a standard. Um, it's a 532nd standard metric. It is, uh, I don't forget off the top of my head, but I think it's like a number six or something. But it's a 532nd standard. Um, there's two set screws on this one. You have to move down there pretty good. So you have to take them all out and the sprocket will come off. Great, so now we've got the sprocket off, we've got the chain off. We just need to take this um, bearing off and then the shaft will come right straight out. It's the same thing as we did on the other side. Uh, since it's still 13 millimeter, got my 13 millimeter wrench and my 13 millimeter socket. I use the wrench to hold the bolts. I use the socket to kind of spin the nuts off. Don't lose your washers.
Okay, so now the bearing should come right straight out. Get your bearing, same bearing as always on the other side. Now there's nothing really holding the the feed roller actually in here. I'm going to turn this thing around a little bit so you get a better view of me taking it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide it one direction. We're going to slide it to the right, the side that had the, uh, the chain on it. Slide it out this way, lift up on it this direction, and pull it straight out. So what we do is we push it this way, lift it up, lift it up, pull it out. There's your feed roll. So leave your questions, your comments. Uh, if you got any, give me a call. Thanks.